A state's convention would look nothing like our founding father's constitutional convention of 1787. But what it would really look like, we don't know exactly. No one knows because there's never been one. We're at a crisis point in our country. I think the majority of Americans believe that the federal government is out of control. The framers of the Constitution left the door open for a state-driven convention. And momentum is driving it from all over the political spectrum. Conservatives, progressives, and liberal groups see it as the way to fix what an unwilling Congress won't address. It feels like this is the right time. You know, the people, we want our country back, and it's, you know, I think the states are finally listening. States will have to do more than listen. At least 34 legislatures must approve such a convention. This is a we the people movement. If this happens, it won't be a bunch of right wing conspiracists. We're talking about a supermajority of the nation that supports these changes. But not every political group is on board. For some, the thought of putting the Constitution in the hands of the people is, well, frightening. It is an idea that is fraught with danger when the American people are not well educated on constitutional principles. How have congressional lawmakers responded to such a thought? Much like well, Marion Carroll. I think I want to get on my way anyway, just because I'm shopping with friends. Now there's much disagreement over the technical aspects of an Article 5 convention. What role would Congress play? How many states' delegates would be assigned? Groups pushing the hardest for it believe it is within reach by 2016. I'm Christine Frizzell, Fox 45 News.